This event over the next couple of days is very much a kickstart to our journey towards ISE 2022. Hi guys, Kiri from Electricus Audio Visual. Welcome back to our channel. This year we went to visit ISC London. Normally ISC is held in Amsterdam, but this year is meant to be in Barcelona, but because of COVID, uh, they did a one or a couple of day shows in London. So we've come down to visit to see what's going on. Control 4 has been brought out by Snap AV, and with that they brought in Arachnis Network. So we came to have a look at the Arachnis Network hardware um, to find out the pros and cons of using it against package that we normally use. We also got to see um, Packhead's new network switch DMS series, which is a new network switch that got launched earlier on this year. This is Control 4's new video doorbell. Obviously we've heard of Chime, but currently it was only available in satin nickel due to material basically being hard to get hold of. So in July, these are gonna be coming back into stock. So you want to physically see what it was like and then know what sort of applications we can use it in. This is the Luma CCTV camera. It's similar to like your Dehures and Hick Visions, but this is a bit different because it's been designed for a control system. So we can use the motion detection in the camera itself to trigger events. Um, we can also set up privacy mode. So if there's a time where you don't want to have any recordings, we can set up a custom button and switch off all the cameras so you won't be able to access them and basically re-enable them as and when you want them to start recording again. We've got the control for remote control on the right and the new T4 touchscreens tabletops that are literally coming into stock now. So the control for touchscreen is a portable device. You can literally roam around the home with it, connects onto the Wi-Fi. If you've got a control for system there, it gets added in and is a great feature if you haven't got any physical places on the wall where you've run cabling for a on-wall touchscreen. These are the episode garden speakers, little covert speakers, so you don't physically have to have them on your wall of your building. You can hide them within the plants and then basically what that will do is give you an array of sound around your garden a bit more inconspicuous they're not in your face but you still get the experience that you're after so this is episode speakers we've started using these more and more on projects because basically what it means is we can literally go out cut out all our plasterboard holes for our speakers fit the cages in ready to go and then this allows the decorators to decorate and then after they've finished decorating we can literally get the internal part of the actual speaker itself slot it into the cage clip it in and we are ready to go this is um, episode's new speaker range they're called the core range and um, these are great for mdu projects a very cost effective speaker um, that doesn't cost a lot of money but gives decent sound for just offering multi room audio in an apartment and a great solution really for developers so these are basically the Control 4 faceplates currently available from Control 4. So you can see loads of different options for the square faceplates and literally different button configurations, button finishes. So this is Control 4's video doorbell, but this is actually a Wi-Fi version. We strongly don't like to fit a Wi-Fi version because there's cheap devices called Wi-Fi jammers that literally block signals. Part of the reason why we never install ring doorbells because they rely on Wi-Fi and because of these cheap Wi-Fi jammers out there, they literally can block and stop the doorbell from working, which in, in essence is defeating the object of physically having a video doorbell. So we don't recommend these, but if you're stuck and there's no other solution and you really want to have a video doorbell, then this is the right solution for you. So this is Triad's in-wall speaker. Basically it's designed for your media rooms where you want to cut the speakers inside the walls has about 100 mil depth so four inch stud work this is the back box that fits onto the back of an episode speaker what this does is it enhances the sound because the speaker doesn't have an open back so literally it keeps all the sound firing forwards which gives you better bass and better treble so last year Control 4 launched a limited edition Neo remote control which is in red still available still currently limited to so many units so if you want to have a limited edition remote contact with us and we'll be happily assist in helping you purchase one so let's take you over now and literally show you everything else that we found on the day for commercial scenarios so commercial av scenarios for like meeting rooms and collaboration meetings with offices and other technology used in business
So I hope you enjoyed our video. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. Have a great week guys, and don't forget to like and subscribe.